Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. And this video is uh, basically um, the response to the giveaway in the video before last, I think it was, or the video where we talked about, I'll just put it here, this picture. And I wanted you to, um, well I asked, what is the focal point of this picture? And what really made me ask that question is because sometimes the obvious is not always obvious, you know. A lot of times that, well, I know it's, I don't say, I won't say sometimes, all the time. <laughs> the things we most focus on is objects, shapes, forms, all of those things are the obvious. And, um... I have to say I did get a lot of beautiful uh, feedback when it came to the picture. That picture was actually a picture that my uncle uh, drew and we just kind of blew it up and encased it. And I wanted to do that because I thought it was so much emotion, which some uh, when the L said it, all the motion that it showed and the praying hands, all of those was what attracted me to this particular piece. Actually, my grandmother gave it to me and which she has, um, she passed away last year. Rest her, may she rest in peace. But yeah, she gave me that from him, which he had passed a um, few years back. And so I wanted something from him. He had uh, shared with me that he was going to make me some um, candle stands, which he did. But this particular piece was given to me by my grandmother. So, uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoy it today, but as I was looking at it, more so, um, as I was looking at that valley, which uh, I consider a valley, it looks like it's a creek, but um, you know, it came. It brought to mind uh, uh, this question, which is, what is the focal point? A lot of times. Um, we do. We pay attention to the things that are obvious, the objects, the shapes, the forms. Um, but I was listening to someone and they were talking about the intervals in life. And if it wasn't for uh, the dips, you know, we wouldn't understand the climax. You know, when you look at a wave, the only way you know it's a wave is because of the dips, you know you would never recognize um, a wave or a sound if it didn't have the intervals, the drops, or even the pauses. The pauses is how we hear music. Without those pauses, um, it would just be a monotone. You know, we wouldn't be able to differentiate or what we would consider good and bad music. It's the same way like if you had a saw for those that are carpentry, you know, if everything was at a flat, if a saw didn't have those dips, we would never, it would never be able to cut through any wood. So it's because of those dips that makes the saw, the saw what it is that actually allows it to cut. And the same thing in life, a lot of times is what we see, you know. So when I look at that picture and you see that beautiful uh, image but what we don't see oftentimes is what's behind that. What is that dark space behind that? Because without that space, without that uh, blank ca canvas, so to speak, um, all of this beauty cannot come forth, right? It couldn't arise. Everything rises and falls in this space. And so I was looking at that picture and then that could go on for us. I mean, we look at all of this, things that we have, we have, you know, everything, but what is it in? We don't take consideration with the, the, the emptiness or what we call space that's behind it, you know? Everything arises in this. But we say we give importance to the things, the objects. We, we pay attention a lot of times to that, but we don't understand that um, without the space that it rises in, there will be none of that. You know, it's just as important. The spaces or the intervals in life are 
within life <laughs> it's just as important you know and when we a lot of us a lot of people are spiritual i am spiritual is just knowing that there's something greater than what i see um and um i look at this universe which was um the bible says was created by god and um that emptiness that this universe was created from. And that's why that poem, The Great I Am, um, really hit home for me. I, I like to do poetry. I used to write poetry a long time ago. And that was like one of my very first poems that I ever written. Um, but that poem is so, when it comes to, um, relevant to me, it is so, that poem is so relevant to um, this topic here because it talks about the great I am. The great I am um, is the almighty creation. Everything rises and falls within that. Um, when I look at the Big Bang Theory, um, you know, it's all a part of that creation. I don't think creation just started way back years ago and then it's over. As we see today, things are still creating. When you look at the grass, it's still arising in this space. When you look at the, what we call trees, they're still arising in this space. When you look at um, the land, it's still arising, waters are coming. You see clouds, they arise, the rains, you know, they arise all in this space. Everything moves and it is about in this space. This space to me, um, in my experience, is the Almighty. Everything, because He is creation. He is that great I am. And with all of this, um, without the, the, the spaces, without uh, this, what we call space, um, nothing can arise, nothing would appear. So the space is just as important because if you didn't have the contrast of that emptiness or that black canvas in the back, all this beauty would not be able to come forth, you know? And so to me, when I look at something, some pictures now, I kind of see things differently. It's no, um, I'm not, the first thing that draws me isn't the images that sprouts out, the beauty that does come when you color that picture, but I wanna see what's behind it. What is that space? Because that space, that's where the energy comes from. That's where the power comes from. That's where the love comes from. Um, and everything else just pretty much shines um, within that space. And so, um, that was my answer, basically. Um, everything that the other answers that I got was beautiful because it looks at the actual objects that are within it because, um, you know, that's what the artist created it for. He wants you to see that, see that emotion. And all of those arise in that, in that space. Without the space behind it, without that empty canvas, you couldn't get all those beautiful pictures. And so, yeah, with that, I wanted to leave you with that because um, it just moved me. And and these are the things that uh, the Lord puts within me. And I just wanted to express it with you. When I saw um, how beautiful that valley was, I just thought, wow. You know, sometimes we go through things and we, uh, instead of uh, just finding our heart in those circumstances, sometimes we look at the appearance of the problem. And I say appearance because sometimes it's um, our preconceived conditionings or thoughts we have um, when we enter a situation that can make it even worse. So that's why I say that appearance is the suffering that our mind brings us to. And so sometimes it's best just to uh, see the intervals as intervals. See, see the um, valleys as just those intervals to make everything else shine. 
um, more beautifully. So no one quite answered in the way that uh, I answered, but I still wanted to get, do the giveaway and give it to the first person who commented, commented either way. And as you can see, Shorty with the hype, Shauna. Um, and she has a channel, so check out her channel. Yeah, um, she answered first. She's always so supportive. She's always in the comment section. So I was uh, overjoyed with giving her the Krups Coffee Grinder, which you can grind all your herbs. Um, I've used this Krups Coffee Grinder since day one. It's been my day one. I brought another one since then, but I have to say this Krups Coffee Grinder, which is... Um, fairly in, inexpensive at Walmart is still my go-to uh, grinder. So yeah, congratulations, Shorty with the Hype, Shania, Shana. So um, yeah, I don't wanna keep rambling on about it, but um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about um, all of this. These are just more uh, contemplations uh, from the heart. Um, I was going to do this series. I thought about this series. I said, you know, sometimes I just want to talk. And I love um, to also hear uh, what you have to say. So, yeah, I thought about just doing these Contemplations from the Heart series. And this is one of those. So, um, let me know what you think. Um, please uh, like, share, subscribe. Um, Hit that notification bell um, so you'll never miss a video. Thank you all to all my new subscribers. Welcome. It's nothing but family and love here because I am here for you. Uh, remember that you are beautiful and I love you. Bye.